Hey guys, welcome to another video of mine. I know it's been a bit of time since I've actually last done one, but uh, just been a bit busy with work and things like that. So what I've got for you today is how to integrate your uh, CCTV system within the Home Center 2. So what I'm going to do is start off with getting the NVR ready and once the NVR is ready we then got to get the cameras activated and then we have to link it all into the um, home center now before I go on normally um, I've got to tell you about the connections so here's my little drawing so normally we have a router modem router which then connects to your NVR. The cameras then normally connect to the NVR directly. And that's how it usually works. But because we want Fibaro to see these cameras, we have to connect it a little bit differently. So as you can see from my diagram, we've got the modem router here, which is connected to the NVR. That's exactly the same. We then have um, a PoE switch. So that's power over ethernet switch. So all it means is that we can send power over the network cables for the cameras so we don't have to send it separate power and we plug that also into the modem router. Once that's plugged into the modem router the cameras then all plug into the network switch. So what this does is this makes our cameras actually come online as well into the same network as our home network so the NVR can see them therefore we can get the recordings it also means then the Fibaro can also see them because they're all on the network, same network as Fibaro. So that's the connection differences. Um, so make sure we do that first. Next part is activating the NVR. So let's get on and do the activation to the NVR. Right, this is a 16 channel Hikvision NVR and as you can see I've just turned it on and it comes up to this screen it's to activate it so what we have to do is basically add in a password to activate the NVR also uh, we need to then put uh, a, a camera activation password in as well it won't let us go past this stage if we don't this is basically when you connect a new camera it sends this password across to the cameras instead but for our purposes because we are going to connect it to Fibaro there's no point we don't need to do that so first things first let's just create a password need to now make it a nice and secure but I'm just gonna make it a nice easy one to begin with I'm just going to put the same password in for the camera activation like I did for uh, the others. And now we have to do an unlock pattern. And then we have to do another unlock pattern. Again, made it nice and simple. At the moment, you can see I've got one camera online, but um, that's just a, a standard camera that I had from before, and the rest, as you can see, are empty. But we're not too worried about that at the moment, so what we do is we click on the menu, and straight away we need to click on to the configuration settings network and we need to disable DHCP and then give it a fixed IP address I've already done that as I've already got this MAC address stored in my router and so this is a, a fixed IP address and that's all we need to then remember okay uh, once we've done that we click apply and that's it 
this this part is over the rest we can do actually on the on the web uh, through a web browser so as a recap password to activate followed by um, unlock pattern and then this and uh, a fixed IP address if you don't know just click on DHCP that will then and if you click on apply it will automatically give an IP address just like that um, and then you just memorize this IP address but I want a specific one so I'll go back and change mine there and then hit apply to something a high number okay Now that we have activated our NVR and we've given our NVR a fixed IP address, we can then manage that NVR through a web browser. So next part is what we're going to do is we need to activate our cameras. Now in order to activate the cameras, um, I need to load up the SADP tool, uh, which you can download from the Hikvision tools website. And I've already done that. It's just to just go to the website um, that was. So like I was saying, Hikvision, it's a SADP tools. This is the item. It's under the Hikvision um, tools website. I just Googled it and it'll come up straight away. Uh, just click on that and download it. It is a Windows based tool, so not a Mac based tool, unfortunately. Uh, once you download it, you just install it onto your system. Um, I've already done that. So uh, let me boot up my Windows and we can continue from there. Right, um, I've loaded up the tool and here you can see I have three cameras which are inactive and I've got one active uh, NVR. So this is my NVR 16 channel. This is the IP address that we set. So this is another way of working out the IP address um, if you haven't got access to a monitor. But if you forget to set it or you've forgotten the IP address, this is one way of working out what's your IP address. So first what we have to do, we then have to activate the camera. So click on it and as you can see this picture comes up saying this device is not activated. So then we have to put in a password. Once we've put the password in, hit activate and then its device is activated. It then gives it a, an IP address. Um, but we need to change that IP address um, to something um, that belongs to our network. And so my network is a 10.0.1. something network. So I need to give it a, a similar address. Uh, I'll give it a 10.0.1.200. 200 and then the gateway address so it's got access to the internet and then we just need to input our password that we set parameters complete and as you can see that is changed to the new IP address of 200 perfect now what we need to do is we need to repeat that process so now we have to select the next camera um, do the same again, just repeat the process. Click on activate and uh, IP address. Same again, change the thing. You don't need to change the subnet mask as it's on the same net, um, the same subnet. parameters changed and then we do the same again activate the device and change the IP address Right, all three. Um, oh, that hasn't changed. 
let's just refresh just in case ah there we are just refreshed it and uh, as you can see all they're all changed now so i've got an ip addresses on each one and i've also got uh, cameras activated so everything is now activated and ready so let's we can now close that down and log on to the nvr so now booted up by um now let's just type in the ip address of the oh i forgot to mention on the hikvision tools website there's also what's called a plugin you may need to make sure you download that plugin and once it's downloaded uh, run it for your operating system so mine was a mac so i downloaded it for the mac on the mac it'll only work on the safari browser and on windows it'll only work on the internet explorer browser i have found it a little bit um, hit and miss depending on your normal browser for browsing as uh, sometimes it can conflict so i'm going to click on trust so that it can run on the website then we put the ip uh, username in password in and hit login it then allows us to log in to the recorder at the moment it's blank i got rid of the other camera for the demonstration purposes and go straight to the configuration tab so this is our network video recorder and this is our network as you can see it's all the network settings that we did from previously so now all we're interested in is getting the camera set up so we then need to um, add in a camera so let's do uh, I'll just do one uh, front door normally these are all blanks um, but because I've already had it set up previously and that was just for this demo purposes so we then click on just you'll end up with a channel like this so it'll end up showing you this like this so it'll be IP camera uh, 1 to 16 on my case it's just a case of clicking on a, a checkbox like I've done press modify and then type in the IP camera address of the camera management port which is always 8000 channel you can ignore username password so I'm just going to input the password again auto and auto uh, leave that on auto and put that to Mario and if you click on OK it will then add the camera to the network and hopefully in a few in a moment time it will make sure that this is then added so if I click back on live view there you are it's added if I just that uh, let's double click I mean there so that's then adds the camera to the network just like that so click on configuration again and uh, which one was it it's that one 199 click on modify and put that back to 8000 and uh, put the password in there we are so IP address protocols Hikvision because these are Hikvision cameras 8000 management port and then click on OK and leave it and it, should, it takes about a, a few seconds or a minute and then if I click on live view uh, if I highlight one of these boxes double click and that gets the camera back online so there you have it okay so that's and you just follow that procedure um, to turn the cameras on into well add the cameras to your network to configure them so it's then the video audio command and you then highlight the camera name oh, sorry it's image OSD settings that's it image OSD settings choose the camera and then you can just rename the camera from this section here like that you can get rid of the just display name dates display week and you know put the format in the way you want it 
and then just hit save and that's it that's then saved so you can do that for all your cameras as well so it's all when you click on um, live view the actual name of the camera then displays on the left hand side right next part is the home center part so let's boot that up right booted up home center and to add a camera click on the add or remove devices I don't use the plugins um, to be honest I just prefer to add the cameras in manually and click to add a camera click on the add button and then here we have the screen you put a name in it room leave the camera to other model and then what you do is you can put the username in and the password in so it's username admin password is whatever we set under the advanced tab we then fill out the rest of the details for the IP address the JPEG path and the MJPEG path so I've already done it so if I click on that so front door outside other user password and it was a 10.0.1.200 and the path so it's streaming with a capital S forward slash channels forward slash one forward slash picture that's the JPEG path for the MJPEG path it, again it's streaming with a capital S forward slash channels forward slash 102 forward slash preview and that's it you can then amend the refresh time so how often it refreshes in the browser this is browser dependent um, on Chrome it works better than Safari once you've done that you then hit save and that's it and what happens is then it will be visible in the um, it will be then added to the um, uh, Fibaro system click on the snapshot and it will send you a snapshot picture so um, then you can just check your email to make sure it's arrived on your email and there it is oh you can't see it but it's arrived on my email um, on the snapshot picture again like I said it is browser dependent on the um, how it displays so what I'll do is I'm gonna pause this right as I was saying it's browser dependent so you can see here that I've got my little icon there to show you so if I click on that and it should come up oh well it's not behaving uh, it usually does um, if I click on devices again and it's there so this one will refresh every few seconds it'll automatically refresh the picture um, so that's how that would, would dis display properly okay um, and then you can use that in your scenes and example is let's do a thingy example Let's get rid of all this it's just um, a test scene that was running so we want to send a picture so um, outside front door send photo to user there so if I if I press OK on this this one will send a photo to user uh, of ID2 right ID2 that's the user ID of the admin account and each person so the first person who registers is the admin and they have always have an ID of two so you then need to once you've identified the identification of the next person you just fill in their ID numbers and this one will send the front door picture to number two um, you can do the same again um, with the other cameras so I've got a couple of other set, set up so for example um, say front side send photo to user 
so that's the other camera ID send photo to user number two and that will then send me another picture so if I press save and start that's how it would work so that's how you would then send a picture to the different people uh, to yourselves to try and ad identify different users um, I'll do that into a different video on how to identify via for your phone identification and also for email identification that will be coming up in a, a separate short video right um, that's it for now short and sweet and that's how you add your sys cameras into your network and also how to add it into um, Fibaro hope you enjoyed that um, that's it for now and I'll speak to you guys later Bye for now.